he's now a Democrat, even though he's been a Republican. Uh, he said, I'll personally, he told me this morning at 8 o'clock, that I'll personally underwrite a half million dollars. You give me three days, and I'll underwrite a million dollars, minimum. Uh, so if he goes on that ticket, and he said you could sweep every state in the Union, uh, that's his opinion. I talked to Bob Anderson. He was trying to set up your, yesterday, he was trying to set up your citizens of Johnson up there. He talks to every one of those men. He's got a hell of a lot of good Republicans lined up, including people like John Loeb. And they agree to it, and then they have second thoughts. And they come back, and John Loeb sitting in his office and said, now, wait a minute. He said, I want to help the president. I'm for him. I'm going to be for him. But I can't get out here uh, until I know who else will be on this ticket. Because he said, if Kennedy's on the ticket, uh, then I have to resign. I, can't, I cannot support the ticket. And he said, I'd have to resign, so that hurt the president, hurt me if I were chairman of his, uh, his citizens for Johnson, Republicans. And uh, so that's a reaction uh, that I get uh, in, just the, in just a few people I talk to. And I, I don't think there's any question about it. Now, Bobby Kennedy, may, he's got these people in these delegations. He's got some of the party bosses up there. But, uh, uh, hell, he can't make a contest out of it far as you're concerned and i just don't think you ought to let it worry you and i think you just go and do what you think is right and uh and i think whatever public utterances you make on these civil rights that uh new york what the hell are they riding for they got a state fepc they've had it they've got they've got uh, uh, schools uh, integrated they've got the public accommodations they've had it they got a city fepc they got every goddamn legal safeguard much stronger than the federal government just passed and they're still riding, and I think you just have to be as firm just as you have been in New York as you are in Mississippi, and, uh, and just to uh, make it abundantly clear, even if they continue to ride, that you, that you cannot abide uh, and not go to stand for disorderly conduct anywhere by anybody. Well, Trouble, I can't do that, because that's what Goldwater says. He's for a national police force, and I got to leave it up to the governors in the cities and only help them when they let me in, they have let me in all these three states so far. And I'm getting the information on that's worthwhile. They don't, uh, you know, uh, FBI is pretty good, and uh, they work with them pretty good. Uh, they like Hoover. All the governors do. Johnson works with him, and every one of them, Brian, all of them work with the FBI pretty good. All the state patrols do. They train most of them, you know, and stuff like that. But it's been lucky up to now. But uh, I don't know what will happen with fellas like... Uh, uh, but I don't see the answer to this damn convention thing on seating. Well, uh, I don't either. We'll just have to, not damn, we'll have to meet that one. I, uh, and that's going to be a tough problem. Uh, because I think Mississippi and Alabama ought to be seated. Uh, yet they've got their rules, and I just don't know what the hell we're going to do. Uh, I do think it, it depends largely on what happens leading up to it. Uh, I, if they have 100,000 Negroes up there, or 10,000, they'll make it every time many, and they picket this thing because Alabama and Mississippi are being seated, and then, you, then the convention kicks them out. Uh, the impression throughout the country is going to be, well, they just got kicked out because the Negroes wanted them kicked out. We talked to... Uh, the National Committeeman from Wisconsin yesterday here talked to some of my staff. He's going to be on the delegation, one of the leaders of the delegation, and he's a Democrat, and uh, he said he's against seating. And we said, why? Well, I got this, uh, just their stand on this nigger question. We said, how many niggers you got on your delegation? Not a goddamn one from the state of Wisconsin. We said, you're a sorry son of a bitch to be talking about uh, somebody else. You haven't got a single nigger on your delegation. We said, we got a lot of them. Well, he said, I guess that's right. Uh, but that's the kind of damn demagogy you get. How many you got in Texas? Oh, we got eight or 10, I guess. How many you got on your delegation? That's what I mean. I know, total though. 100 and something? Yeah, 126. Got New Mexico? Yeah, we got some. Got more niggers than we have Mexicans. But we got some Mexicans. Yeah, we we got men and women and niggers and Mexicans and, and uh, we got them on at large and we got them on we got labor people and uh, we got every every group in in the world. Well, now they they only really uh, they only 
three people that have any strength, John, that we can talk about to get nominated. If I had my brothers and just uh, could uh, just push the button, I'd put McNamara because he just is by far the most help to me of anybody. And uh, uh, but that's out. There's not a one that's got a delegation, whether it's Lawrence or whether it's Wagner, or whether it's Bailey or whether it's uh, Minnesota or whether it's California. The only single one of them go. They say that if we haven't got a Democrat in our own party, yeah. why, what do you do it? So that's I that. that. I now, that. You just can't get anywhere with it. Now, when you go on the Catholic thing, you don't get anybody that uh, really very strong on McCarthy. Clark Clifford thinks we may have to come to him because he just thinks that uh, they'll say that they were discriminated against and their man got cut down and I came along and the Protestants took over and the man that tried to defeat Kennedy in his lifetime and defeated him in his death, Johnson Humphrey. And we may have to go to somebody that doesn't cause any trouble like uh, uh, McCarthy. But he's about the only one who thinks that. The labor people, Meany and Ruther and uh, the Negro people and the, the, the folks that do the work and got the votes and put up the money and the copes and all that for the party in these other states, they would uh, generally stay with you for Humphrey against the other fellow. But they would be satisfied with either one of them. Now, those two plus McCarthy and uh, you can't have Stevenson, he's 63, and they don't, they're just not impressed with him, although I think he'd be, he wouldn't be as antagonistic to South as he'd done Free or Bobby. Yeah. But uh, they, he would be after he got on the ticket. They don't like him, never have, and, and so forth. But that's about what it adds up to. Uh, uh, you really need somebody that's a good debater and a good TV performer and uh, can take them on because you're tied down so damn hard in this job. Now, I don't want to say so, but I wish I knew some nice, decent way just to let let them fight it out and anybody wants to have it because I don't think you can win it. You've got trouble with Khrushchev and Castro say they're going to shoot down your planes the minute the election's over. They're going to save it for you then and you just got more damn problems than than I can handle. I'm just, uh, I've got old enough and uh, flabby enough that I just, uh, I can't surmount all the obstacles and I don't have the uh, help and the advice and the, the counselors and the loved ones around you to do it. I've got every man in my cabinet's Kennedy man. Uh, everybody in my, the heads of my department are all somebody else's men, just kind of like you had Price Daniel men. Yeah. And I haven't been able to change them, and I don't have the personnel if I could change them. I just don't, uh, they didn't go to St. Marcus Teachers College, and I, Bill and Jesse is about what I got out of that. And uh, so it's uh, something I don't want to bother you with, but you're the only one I got to bother, and it's just uh, uh, agony. It's a real agonizing thing. I, I'm sure it is. I, uh, the Republicans are voting together to a man, and the Southerners are voting with them. And we had to vote on our poverty bill this afternoon, and they offered an amendment that you couldn't have any project in any state uh, unless the governor approved it. Right. So that would turn it over to the every Republican governor in every Republican state. And they'd rather just take it away from the federal government's what it'd do. Right. And uh, it's 45 45. And I had the votes in the house. I've got 200 ready to pass it, and then the old man Smith wouldn't give us rule, and he finally agreed to give us rule if McCormick could hold it up two weeks so we don't vote on it August 8th. And that's Ed Burris is sending everybody from Texas wires and wiring everybody down there to please pull the wires in, the Manufacturers Association, Jim McCormick. And I'm winning them by one vote, 45 to 46. And uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I just shudder to think what happened if uh, if Goldwater uh, won it. Uh, he's a, he's a very uh, he's a man's had two nervous breakdowns. He's not a stable fellow at all. He just shoots from the hip with everything. One day he says I'm a phony and a faker, and the next day he called up won't see me. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I don't really know how to handle it all. That's 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 the honest truth. I, Oh, yeah. uh, uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. If I if I could uh, find a way in the world, but it looks like, 
that even when I get to, uh, if I win, I lose. Uh, because uh, I I want the South for me, and uh, that's all I've got. And if I can't offer the ticket South, I haven't got really anything to offer. Uh, and uh, the, I don't have any standing in Chicago, and there's Chicago Tribune, Iowa, Los Angeles, New York City. And uh, I read the clippings last night from Arkansas. Wallace was up there, and Paul was very friendly and introduced me and telling about how I couldn't get anybody to vote the Democratic ticket. Now, my judgment is we're going to lose every southern state, including Kentucky and Oklahoma and Missouri. Now, that's my judgment as of now. And I just don't think they can take this nigger stuff, just keep pouring it in, and they're going to pour it in. Yeah, I think they will. Well, uh, I think I'll have that conversation if I don't change, hold him online. Uh, if I don't change my mind, I'll have that conversation. And uh, I'll call you afterwards, and we probably will have to make a deep pitch uh, to governors like uh, the Iowa governor, Hughes, yep. and uh, the Ohio leaders, and the Pennsylvania, and see if they'll stay with the president. Then I just think I have to say that if they don't, I'm not going to uh, let them put somebody in bed with me that'll murder me. I just can't be president. Then that's exactly what he wants. Because then his having enough support to be vice president, and I got out, he'd have it more than anybody else had. That seems to me. But I don't think my self-respect could suffer defeat at the convention and then take the presidency to you. No. So, uh, no, no use being a crybaby. I just have to say that, uh, well, it's not that bad. Well, I don't know. It's, uh, I'd get the seven votes, but if this thing gets out and this, this fight against the South gets up, I'm going to wind up without anything but the South, and the South ain't going to be for me. But they're not going to be for me on the grounds I'm a Southern. But I have no real uh, any rapport or anything in common with those folks. The only thing is I got possession of the office at the moment. Yeah. And they say, well, we don't have to endure it but until November. And, uh, we can win with Goldwater as near anybody. And uh, we don't care. Wrong. Well, I think that's right, too, but they don't care much. Uh, they, they think if I get defeated, they're in charge of all of it, you see. So I'm going to tell him, Matt, and you think about it, and then we'll come in and fight it out, and uh, you be ready, and I'll I'll call you back. Let me... Uh, anything else now? No, I'll be your call. Well, uh, who else? Who would you pick as vice president right now? What about Bob Miner? Oh, they wouldn't... Uh, couldn't think of it. He's not... Uh, he's no, not no stroke? No, no. What no. about Abe Ribicoff? No. Tom Dodd would like to have it, but you couldn't do it to him. No. You're going to have to take either Humphrey or McCarthy or, or uh, Bobby. And I would take Bobby. I'd take Humphrey. And I think Humphrey would cause you trouble in the South. And I don't think it'd be much better than Bobby. And I think if Bobby's position is that you're going to lose South anyway, and God damn it, why don't you come on and let me hit till you get these other states? Well, Humphrey can do that. Well, of course, I would take, uh, uh, if I were doing it, I think, uh, and I don't know him well, and I really, I really shouldn't say. Uh, I don't know McCarthy that well. I think I... He'll get a lot of smear. He votes for the oil and gas companies. He votes for the depletion, and he'll help you a little that way in Texas. But he'll catch you uncharted hell from the Drew Pierce and the rest of them. They've already told me. McCarthy? Yeah. Why? Well, he was friendly with Kerr, and he's voted for oil and gas a few times. And he's kind of regarded as liberal renegade. Well, I really don't know, uh, but I take him on uh, simply on the premise that nobody knows him, and uh, he, he's uh, down little harm, down little good. Well, watch him. Any help? All you need to do is keep him getting cut up. Watch, watch him. They're going to cut you up. They're going to cut you up. And, and uh, then I'd go with Humphrey. That's all you can do. But you'd really prefer uh, the uh, McCarthy to Humphrey. Sure. Well, we're not going to carry any southern states, John. And Humphreys has a lot more appeal in other states. In the Midwest, he has a lot more appeal in McCarthy. 
in a state like Iowa. Well, I think you may be surprised what happens in some of these other states. Now, you're getting a greater manifestation of uh, and more outspoken uh, criticism and fears expressed in the South, but I suspect that the, the, the Harlem riots are having just as deep an implication in Chicago, I mean in New York, as they are anywhere else. I know damn well they are. Uh, human nature is pretty much the same. It's a matter of degree. And if they just keep on and, and riding in Harlem, uh, you're going to have unsured hell. And you're going to have it in New York. You're going to have the same type of rebellion there in Chicago.